Okay, guys, welcome to a sister's cooking. On today, I'm going to make my famous bread that I use for my gyros, my biscuits, my pizza, pizza rolls, uh, my pizza puffs, all that in the above. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my instant yeast into my cup of water. I got a cup of water. And I'll add my instant yeast. It's the fast rising yeast. You can get it from all these. You can get it from Jewels. You can get it from um, Walmart, different stores, wherever you're from. They offer it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do here. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start blending my ingredients with my flour. So this is my yeast, and I stir. I get that beat up real good because you you don't want no lumps. So you want to beat that up real good. Well, no gross. I look at the bottle for any grind. And that'll let you know if it's beating good or if you have a consistent, a consistent flow. So right now, there you have it. Okay. And I'm gonna add my yeast in there gradually. And you want to add. your flour. This is a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. So I'm just adding that with it too. That's a teaspoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Sometimes I go back and I add just a little bit more add to the end. I always end up adding more water to mine anyway. But I'm going to add also to it is a half a teaspoon or me a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to go ahead and start black blending that in. And it's pretty much ready. I'm just going to add a little bit more water like I Hmm? Oh, okay. That's my honey. He's whispering to me, guys. Hmm. I have the tomatoes right here. I got garlic, basil. Everything is in these tomatoes. Then I have, um, I drain them same tomatoes I make tomato paste out of. So this is one of my tomato sauces. So with this right here, guys, it is ready. And I'm finna let it rest. I gotta get me a Ziploc bag. Not a Ziploc bag. I get me some saran wrap. And I'm gonna let her. We've been resting the bread for 20 minutes. And now what I'm doing is flouring down so that it won't stick. So that the yeast will not stick. The dough won't stick. But I'm going to get it out of here. And I'm going to separate it in two parts. And my boys, my kids heard me talking down here, guys, about making them a stuffed vegetable uh, pizza puff or pizza. And they came down here and we had a family dis discussion. We had a meeting. They called a meeting on mama. They said, Ma. We do not want, and another thing they did say they want. They said what they want too is, and I'm finna add it, guys. So I'm gonna add it over here on this side. Because what they said they wanted was, they wanted Parmesan, garlic, parsley, and Italian seasoning in their bread. So this is what I have here, guys. I have some fresh, nice garlic. I have some par fresh parsley. I have some Parmesan, and I also have some garlic breadcrumbs, and I have some Italian seasoning. See, I'm gonna add this in this bread cause this is what they want. So you gotta give them what they want. If you want them to eat it, you gotta give them what they want. So this is what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna add a little more. Cause it's really good. It gives the bread a really good taste too. So there you have it. Some garlic, Parmesan, Italian bread for the chill Cheerios, okay? For the Cheerios. See how I done spread that out? And you always want that flour around there because that flour helps you move this here, this dough around. And without it getting, uh, it tearing up and to me like drying out and tearing up. So there you have it. Now this is my pan. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it on there like that. 
Now I want to move over here on this side. I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it like that. This little piece broke a little bit, but I'm going to fix it. There you go. So, there you have it. Okay? So, what am I I'm moving too fast. I'm moving a little bit too fast. I'm moving a little bit too fast because I did not add my sauce. So, I want to add my sauce. This is my sauce. And I also, and sauce is important, guys. Sauce is important. The sauce is very important. What I want to add to it, since I've added my sauce, is I want to add my tomatoes that's been sitting up with all the ingredients in there, parsley, basil. I also have a look. A little, uh, a little thyme in it. It has some um, celery in it, bell peppers, garlic, all of that. So I want to add that in there because I love a, a hearty tomato. I love a hearty tomato. Okay? There you go. And, and let's tighten it back up because I have to use it again. So now what we're going to add is, now we're going to add some of that cheese. Just so that it can absorb some of that salt. And this is the Chihuahua cheese mixed with the uh Mao um the Mao the Mao um cheddar cheese. This is turkey, guys, that I uh we stopped eating the Thanksgiving turkey and I chopped me some up and I put it in me a freezer bag, like a couple bags, little small bags. And when we want tacos, we pull the turkey out. When we want pizza, pull the turkey. So now I'm going to add, again, I got some garlic and onions in here. I'm going to add some garlic and onions because I love a good onion. Now here we have some yellow pepper and green pepper. We're going to add some of that. This is a way to incorporate vegetables in the things that your kids don't want to eat, that they usually don't have a lot of vegetables in. I know a lot of people when I'm out and I see people and their kids eating pizza, I don't see a lot of them with uh, vegetables. Me and my, I try to incorporate vegetables in everything my children eat. So I'm also adding some spinach, guys. I got some chopped up spinach here. I'm gonna add some spinach. I love vegetables. Again, mind yours, and I'm a man, man. Okay, I love a vegetable. And for those who do love the vegetables too, welcome to the party. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add, oh, I have some basil, some fresh um, parsley, and some Italian seasoning. There you go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close up. See that? I'm going to bring up to a full fold. I'm going to bring up to a full fold. And yes, I am. Full fold. There you have it. And I'm going to mop her. Now, and you don't want her. You got to put a few holes in. You got to put a few holes in. So I put me a few holes in it. With the consistency too. I don't want to bite down and it's crispy on the outside but gooey on the inside. I don't want that. I don't want that for me and I don't want it for you. So now what I'm going to do is, this is my butter that I melted. Yes, and I had told you all, I use Glee as well. Glee is good. It's all plant-based. It, it doesn't, again, have anything that you can't pronounce and you can't spell. A croissant. Stuff croissant. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Check your girl out. Y'all know y'all girl. You know your girl be over here getting down. Don't play with me. Don't cheat me out of my points, baby. I'm coming for you, honey. Whoever you are, just know that I'm coming, okay? Okay? Okay, KK? Let's put her in the oven. I already got this oven going at 352. Let's put her in the oven. Let's put it in the oven, okay? There you go. There you go. 
and there you have it, okay? Okay. That pea stuffed pizza has came out the oven, and now I am fit to plate her. Yes. And she cooked really good. delicious. This is the stuffed pizza. And we're going to have it with a little salad. There you go. Put a little my special salad dressing on there. Let's see. This is my special salad dressing. We're going to put a little bit of drizzle, a little bit of that over there. And there you have it. Stuffed pizza, guys. Look at that. There you have it. Your girl has made stuffed pizza from homemade pizza dough that I myself made. We have ourselves a nice salad. Just a little green leaf salad with some fresh kale, some cabbage, tomatoes. And a little onions in there and a special salad dressing. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget to share and leave me a comment. And let everyone know about your favorite girl, your sister that's cooking, okay? And and if they tell you, or they, even if they ask you, not if they tell you, if they ask you, what makes you do this? You let them know. It's the PMS. It's the PMS! <laughs> PMS made me do it. It's the PMS. You think you're so cold. You think you're so smart. You think you can't cook. It's the PMS. Thank you and join me again. Ha <laughs> ha.